protocol observed. I'm surprised that I have survived to this point. <laughs> I did not think that three months ago when I heard the news of my appointment that I would be able to go ahead with it. But my being here today as the new Bishop of Montari is a testimony to the goodness of God who heard your prayers for me and who has given me the required graces and strength to assume this new ministry in the church. I did not choose to or choose to or make an application to be Bishop of Mutari. I was appointed by the Holy Father and I was asked to accept his decision, which I did. It gives me great consolation, therefore, that I'm not following my own will, but that I believe I'm doing the will of God, who has worked through human agents in the power of the Holy Spirit to have me stand before you today as the new shepherd of God's people in the Roman Catholic Diocese of Mutari. I stand before you as a sinner, as a frail human being, whom God has blessed in so many ways. As I look to the future, I am reasonably at peace, as I know that the good Lord who brought me to this day will continue to assist me in my work and ministry. I thank uh, Bishop Alexa Mushibahiwo for his gracious way in which he has assisted me since I received the news, and for his sterling work he has done in the diocese over the last 34 years as our bishop. I know Bishop Patrick has been praying strongly for this day, and we acknowledge his presence here in spirit. I know that I can rely on both these two, these two wise men to guide and advise me over the coming months and years. To the priests, deacons, religious, and lay faithful, I ask for your continued prayers and support. I'm here to encourage you to live your respective vocations to the full as we work together as one team to build up the Kingdom of God here in Mutari and throughout the province of Manicaland. I hope also to work alongside all the leaders and faithful of the various Christian denominations and with the leaders and people of other religious groups that we have here in Mutari and in the province. We are all beloved children of the one God, creator of heaven and earth. <coughs> I am pleased to have present at this ordination many representatives from the political and civil life of Mutari, Manikaland and Zimbabwe, including the representative of our provincial governor. I thank you for your presence here and I assure you of my support in your efforts to better the lives of the people under your care. <coughs> to my fellow bishops and to your grace, Archbishop Marek, our papal nuncio, you will have to lead me into my new ministry as I call upon your vast experience and wisdom gained over the years. It is really special to have seven members of my family here in Zimbabwe for the first time. <laughs> I am sure they will be able to promote Zimbabwe as an attractive tourist destination when they return to Ireland because they have been hosted so graciously by so many people since their arrival. I'm also pleased to have here present at this occasion the uh, representative of the Irish ambassador to South Africa and Zimbabwe uh, who travels up from Pretoria to grace this event. Thank you very much for your attention. As well as being the seventh child of Thomas and Eta Horan of Dragon Tipperary, Ireland, I'm also a child of the Carmelite family who was present in Zimbabwe for 70 years. We celebrate this year. It is a great honor for me to have our prior general, Father Fernando Milan, here at this ordination together with our provincial father Richard and many other Carmelites from Ireland, Kenya, Tanzania uh, and Malawi. The Carmelites have formed me to be the person I am today 
and I sh shall continue to be very much part of their family.